Uh, greeting everyone. I am Dr. Deependra from Conceptual Orthopedic, and I welcome you all in today's connect session with Professor Anil Dal sir. And today's sir is going to discuss another very interesting short case presentation on uh, ankle injury. So I think this talk is going to be very useful to all of you. So without any further delay, I welcome you sir on the board, and I request you all participants please uh, do participate in session. Otherwise, it will not be fruitful to all of you. So those who want to participate in session, you can raise your hand or you can put the name in chat box. At least we need a two volunteer for participation. Thank you, sir. Now it's over to you, Professor Dal, sir. Thank you, Dipendra. And uh, good evening, all the participants. Uh, I would appreciate if, if two of you or more than two are willing to participate. Please uh, let me know your names. Before we start, Sai Prasad, do you want to participate? So I think you have to participate in session because this is a, a short case presentation. Otherwise, it will be one sided talk. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Uh, at least two, one, one person, any one person. Yes, definitely. Sir is, is going to the, help you. Because the idea here is that just like you present cases in the exam, you should be tuned up to present these short cases, short case or long case, whatever it is. And unless you, because uh, in, in these cases, the cases are picked up by me. So you cannot examine them unless I project them. So the interactive session is the best alternative. Yes, sir. So, Abhipre, I think you are participating since last two or three sessions. So, do you want to participate, Abhipre? It doesn't matter whosoever wants to participate because this is the golden opportunity. Uh, well, if there are none, then I have to proceed further. It is the loss is uh, not mine because I am. I can only make suggestions. I cannot force any. Sir, we have one candidate, sir. Sai Prasad, he wants to participate, sir. Sai Prasad. Okay, Sai Prasad. Good. Welcome to the session. So good evening, we'll... sir. Good evening, good evening, Sai. So let us proceed. And as always, I will give you a brief history of this patient. Uh, the, our patient happens to be a 51 year old man who presented with uh, swelling and pain at the back of the right ankle and difficulty in walking for the last one month. He, gives, he gave a history of fall on the late railway platform while he was alighting from a train. He was deboarding a train. He was pushed from behind and that triggered a fall he fell down on the platform and thereafter he had to be helped by two people to reach home. Independently, he was unable to walk because he had severe pain at the back of his ankle joint. So this was one month ago and now he was presenting to us. He came walking, but he volunteered that he has... He had not taken any treatment till now. So with this history, there is an injury which he had sustained and following the injury only, he was unable to walk for a few days and then he started walking. And the pain in the ankle is still there at the back of the ankle, not in the whole of the ankle. And he has some difficulty in ambulating or walking. And when we made him undress or when we made him show, which is the injured part, uh, and uh, we asked him to walk in front of us. So while examining the gait of the patient, this is how he came towards us. We asked him to come towards us and then move away from us.
so this is the way that he is walking i think it is more more revealing when you look at it from behind so dr sai prakash please uh, i'll play it again for you and please see what you find do you find anything abnormal left side is the affected side and compare it with the right, right side so just watch the normal side normal side watch it normal side gait is absolutely fine but it is the abnormal side look at the heel the heel is not the heel off or the push off phase is lacking in this particular patient you can see it again on this side the heel is coming off on this side the entire foot is being elevated and it is being put in front so this was the gait of this patient and let us move on let us see in the standing position when we examined him from behind uh this is the left side is the affected side right side is the normal side so dr sai prakash what is your impression uh, on inspection these cases or rather this case in particular is known as a spotter a spotter is a case in which just by looking at the part affected part and just having a brief history you can reasonably make an accurate diagnosis yes dr sai yes on inspection uh, we can see uh, swelling over the posterior aspect of ankle which uh, extended toward the heel region uh huh and uh... okay just hold on i will show you another photograph and then you can probably uh figure out better this is another photograph patient okay. from behind affected side non affected side what do you find here the swelling is uh... compare the two calves i am sure my cursor is on the calf also yes, what do you find uh so there is a uh... this is the yes what do you find the swelling in the calf area yes. okay so there is a generalized swelling okay there is a generalized swelling all right sorry so this is what i am showing you yes there is another view of this little magnified view and this yes. is so can you figure out what are we dealing with yes sir uh, there is a uh, is a defect uh, in the posterior aspect of the ankle sir. defect in the posterior oh. aspect of the ankle what structure is Achilles tendon. Okay. What is the structure here? Achilles tendon. What? This is the normal side. So this is the Achilles tendon. Okay, Achilles tendon on the normal side and on the affected side, there is a depression there. There is a depression visible there. So there is some problem with the. something has happened to the achilles tendon that a depression has in, appeared there was no scar there was no this was a closed injury but there is a depression which has appeared here so what could be the cause of this depression which has appeared in the region which is usually occupied by the tendo achilles yes sir 